Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we're going to take a look at the brand new Hot Wheels Monster Trucks WWE series, John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Well, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to take a look at these brand new trucks. These were found at Walmart. I went there looking for them and I wasn't expecting to actually find them on the shelves, but they're actually on the top shelf and they rung up for $5, so about the price of the silver collection. They are on a long card. They are much bigger than the normal Hot Wheels monster trucks and these are the first two, one of 10 and two of 10. And I did get the full set of the first wave. So we got Undertaker as well and AJ Styles, which is brand new for this set. We will be taking a look at these um, other two in a separate video because I wanted to make this one a little shorter than usual. So this will be uh, the Stone Cold and uh, John Cena review. So we have seen these trucks before actually in the past in Hot Wheels Monster Jam. We saw the Stone Cold in two variations. In my left hand we have the US version and in my right hand we have the European version. So we saw two of those during the time of Hot Wheels Monster Jam in 2007. And then of course the same goes for John Cena. On my right hand again we have the European version and on my left hand we have the US version which just means there's no raw logo on the European ones so that will be missing when you guys see it in the review in the later part of this video. So here are the new ones we have these brand new Hot Wheels monster trucks of course because uh, Monster Jam and Hot Wheels are no longer contracted for this year 2019 which by the way Happy New Year everyone. Uh, so this is their new line. They already have a contract with WWE to make figures, so I guess they just crossed over into monster trucks again. And that's pretty cool because I guess it didn't have to get approval, obviously because Mattel's own contracts, no Monster Jam involved. So pretty cool. Uh, it does have the official WWE product um, little emblem here. So you can kind of see it right there. Official licensed product with the WWE symbol and logo. And of course, just like all Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, they do have stats on the back. And here's a little description box. It says, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and WWE joined forces for an epic crash battle slam fest. Here's John Cena's card back. You can see it here. Uh, the name is John Cena. The truck type is muscle. The strength is flat out hustle. The crash attack is attitude adjustment. And the motivation is to never give up or never give up. And there's the other trucks in the assortment. You got, of course, Stone Cold, which, by the way, they use the incorrect color on the roll cage. It's actually blue on this render and red in real life. But anyway, there's Stone Cold Steve Austin, Undertaker, and AJ Styles. And this, of course, like I said, is one of ten. So there will be six more in the next wave, I'm assuming. And uh, there's, of course, the nice uh, long card with the wrestler. I still think they should have done the background much nicer. This makes no sense, having Bone Shaker and the Mountain Range. Um, at least made this into the Stone Cold one. Or maybe have the render of the truck. I don't know. I think the Mountain Range design does not look good with the wrestler on the front. But it is a nicer package than the previous, in my opinion, the previous Smack Packs from 2007. And you can see again, there's the ring inside this packaging. And these are not exclusive to any store, so you can find them at Walmart and Targets alike, and also other major retailers that might carry them. So that's the uh, John Cena, and this is the Stone Cold's card back. You can see, of course, it's got the blue roll cage, like I said, and it says uh, the name is Stone Cold Steve Austin, the truck type is Hot Rod, the strength is Austin 316 Attitude, the crash tag is Stone Cold Stunner, and the motivation is because Stone Cold said so. And there's the card back, of course, with Stone Cold there. There's the other three. And there's Stone Cold himself on the front. And there's his uh, little plates here. So two out of 10. So we're gonna take a look at these really close and we're gonna open them up right now. So John Cena is the first one to be open. And whoops, I didn't mean to drop it that hard, but uh, there it is, the John Cena interior of the box. You can kind of see him in there. Kind of hard to see with the truck in there. And then here's the little WWE ring it comes with. Um, it's just a little card, piece of cardboard that. Uh, starts to come apart instantly but here it is and uh you can see it's right here right there with the um ring kind of bent down so that's actually part of the card like it's crushing the ring uh ropes and then um if i open up the other one here the stone cold so here's this one you can see there's stone cold there and here's his stuff so it's on the Bone Shaker tooling, pretty cool. And this one's on the Roger Dodger tooling that we've seen in the past, so pretty cool. Let's take a quick and close look at these trucks down on the studio. So here they are. We got Roger Dodger, John Cena, and Stone Cold Steve Austin Bone Shaker. Here's some Bone Shaker designs we saw this year already uh, from Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. We got the Camel Crashers, the first ever one, and of course the uh, Doubles uh, Bone Shaker. And then we have the Roger Dodger tooling ones, which were the same pink color as this um, Roger Dodger, which is this original blue one. And then we have the golden one from the double packs. So pretty cool. 
And um, besides that, we're going to take a look at the new ones that we just got. So let's take a look at the new ones. We got the John Cena. We'll take that off its ring. So here it is, the uh, blue Roger Dodger. Let me scoot you guys in a little bit so you get the lighting better. So you can see it's got a uh, nice orange roll cage, a dark blue uh, interior on the rim, the orange shiny beadlock, and um, there's the Monster Trucks logo. I'm not sure why all the Monster Trucks logo were messed up on all the John Cena's, but you can kind of see it's kind of blurred out there with the WWE logo, a blue and orange stripe along the side, and John Cena in the middle right there. You can see the name. And this one does feature headlight and grill printing. Uh, it is blacked out and then two headlights here, two headlights there, and a little bit of uh, stuff there. And then there's his signature on the front part of the hood. And then of course the motor, famous motor on Roger Dodger with a uh, orange window. And you can't see me, of course, his logo there with uh, hustle, loyalty, respect, and his okay symbol and Cena approved underneath that. And you can see the orange window continues there and it does say hustle, loyalty, respect on the side panel. So that's for both sides. And of course the Hot Wheels logo up in the window. So that's the John Cena. Of course, it's got the giant tires, um, a feature of the Hot Wheels Monster Truck series. Um, not a big fan of the giant tires, but uh, that's just part of their own uh, deal. And that's the John Cena one. And of course we got the Stone Cold on the Bone Shaker one. So Stone Cold features the red roll cage compared to its original render with the blue. It has a black rim with a chrome beadlock and it has some red detailing um, along the side here with Austin 316 and Stone Cold Steve Austin on the side. And of course you got the symbol for Stone Cold is uh, logo, the WWE logo, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and there's the Hot Wheels logo. And it does say what, because I know that's his thing in WWE. I don't watch a lot of WWE, but I do know what that means. It's obviously what he says when he is in the ring. And then um, here's the other side. You can see here with the WWE logo. And there's the, of course, Bone Shaker casting. And it does have his signature right there, Stone Cold Steve Austin number one on the uh, hood part right there. And then there's a nice, very cool, one of my favorite parts of this truck, the skull fitted in there with Stone Cold in the top portion. And of course the nice red detailing around it as well. So that's pretty cool. I think the Stone Cold's one of my favorite ones actually so far. Um, and definitely Undertaker as well, but Undertaker will be in the next video. This one's just super cool. I love how it looks. And um, a lot of people say it actually really looks like the old one, which I think it does too. Um, the same kind of color patterns here. We got the gray, the red and the black, and of course the skull. Um, but I think they definitely did better on this one, the Bone Shaker one. I have to disagree though on the Roger Dodger one. I think they could have maybe done a little better, maybe some detail on the side panel better than the original one, or more than the original one. I think the original one kind of got the um, better half here. I think the detail on this one's much better, but uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool though. The, the Roger Dodger is pretty cool, but it's John Cena. Um, and you got you can see those nice blue rims. I think it's better than the chrome ones that they had originally, but uh, I have my differing opinions on this one. I think the other three were actually much better, just in personal opinion preference there. But um, anyway, that's the first two of the WWE series for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. I think they're awesome that they're bringing them back. Um, again, they're $5. They're a little more expensive than normal Hot Wheels Monster Trucks are. Uh, they're just like the silver collection from Hot Wheels Monster Jam, just a little more expensive for the longer card. So that was the first two, and we'll have the other two in the next review, hopefully this week or next week. In the meantime, I will be uploading other videos from Spin Master and uh, other reviews of Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. I can't wait to read what your comments will say. And thank you guys for watching again. This is Ryan Monster Jam OCD, signing out.